Hello YouTubers. I recently replaced my defective garbage disposal which was hardwired to a switch above the sink. The white, black, and ground wires were removed from the old disposal as shown here. In this video I want to show you how I ran these three wires to a ground fault circuit interrupter or GFCI style outlet and mounted it inside a new electrical box because my new disposal is able to be plugged into the wall. So stick around and let's get after it. Before I began working with the wiring, I located and tripped the breaker for the garbage disposal switch. Then here at the switch itself, as an extra safety precaution, I stuck a piece of tape in place. The particular GFCI outlet I chose displays an amber LED when the outlet has been tripped, a red LED when the outlet is damaged to the point of being unusable, and it has an audible alert which may be switched off manually. This surface mount box may be used indoors or outdoors and contains all the mounting hardware I will need except for the screws to mount it to the wall. Lastly, this 3 8 inch cable clamp screws into the box and holds secure the incoming wire bundle. Let me show you how it works. I'm going to mount the cable clamp on the end of the box closest to the ground screw. The cable clamp has a lock ring which is normally threaded onto the clamp threads from inside the box once the clamp is screwed into place. But because of the depth of this opening, the clamp threads aren't long enough to go all the way through the hole and still allow the lock ring to be threaded onto the clamp from inside the box. Fortunately, I can leave the lock ring in place on the clamp like this and tighten it down from the top side. Next, I'll show you in advance how we perform the wiring while the box is here on the tabletop with good lighting. I stripped off about six inches of the outer sheathing on this pretend bundle of wires and routed it down through the cable clamp opening. Allow a small amount of the sheathing to pass inside the box. Turn the clamp whereby you can reach the screws from the side, then tighten both screws against the wiring bundle sheathing. Using a pair of pliers, turn the lock ring clockwise to tighten it against the box. A pair of slip joint pliers would have worked even better. In this demonstration, I'm going to run the ground wire underneath the green grounding screw, but once under the sink, I'm actually going to remove the screw and wrap the ground wire around it, then tighten it back down. If you're concerned about your work passing inspection, it would be better to come off the ground screw with a separate wire Join it to the ground wire in the bundle and add a third ground wire coming off that connection that will hook to the outlet. Join all three ground wires together with a wire nut like this. For video clarity, I've taken a pencil and highlighted the labels and this gauge on the back side of the GFCI outlet used to measure the length of the black and white wire casings to strip. Since we're only wiring this one outlet, we begin on the end marked line and place our white wire on the side marked white, the black wire on the side marked hot, and of course the ground wire on the green screw. If you wanted to tap into this outlet to daisy chain another, begin on the load end of this outlet and run a white wire to the line end of this outlet's white side terminal and a black wire to the line end of this outlet's hot side terminal like this. You then connect the two grounds to the incoming ground wire from the wall switch with a wire nut. Now before you daisy chain other outlets, be sure your breaker box service, breaker, and wiring can handle the load. You can either wrap the incoming wires around the terminal screws or use the insertion points and hold the wire in place while tightening the terminal screw against it like this. Be sure and tug on each wire after tightening to ensure a good fit. About 50% of the electricians you poll recommend wrapping the ground wire around the ground screw and tightening. 
I'm going to insert my ground wire under this ground screw collar, then tighten it down and test it. Carefully press the outlet down into the box, folding the wires behind it. Alternate the tightening of the Phillips screws on either end of the outlet and secure it to the box like this. Now our box has three access holes and we've already used one of them for the clamp. Therefore we want to seal up the other two holes with these plugs. If this were an outside application, sealing these holes prevents damage from insects, vermin, water, and humidity. Our accessory bag also includes these mounting wings with screws which you can attach to any of the four corners on the back of the box. The most popular mounting method shows them at diagonal corners. All that's left is to mount the cover which is molded for GFCI outlets. This cover was a separate purchase. After mounting and wiring the box under my sink, I flipped on the breaker, flipped on the switch, and plugged in my tester. These orange lights are a good sign. If you don't have one of these, just plug in any electrical device and turn it on. Test the GFCI by pressing the test button. Reset it by pressing the reset button. This outlet is ready for our new disposal and this project is complete.